Hi everybody, it's uh, Rob Rhodes from Fight Home Academy. Uh, just going to go through some of our drills that we would do and set up for our moderation um, when we've got a moderator coming to watch our table tennis players for their GCSE marks. Okay, so we're going to go through some, uh, some basic drills, what we would do, how we would do it, and how we get the students ready for that as well. Okay, so the first drill we would do would be a forehand practice drill where we're driving the ball or pushing the ball from the right hand side of the table across to the left and then our partner is from the right hand side across to the left. And you see the blue fold at the other side, so they're the kind of side of the table and rally. That's showing the moderator the control and the accuracy that the two people have, the two players have, consistently working with each other. What I try and do as well is if I've got two students, say, on the same grade, same mark, I will pitch them together so they can bring out the best in each other and keep that rally going. Uh, then I would move and progress to a backhand drill. So backhand to backhand, left to right hand side of the table. Again, that's showing the moderator the control, the accuracy, and some very basic skills to start with. Some of the better players will be getting over the top of the ball, and they'll be putting some spin on. That's absolutely fine. So a forehand drill, right to left, a backhand drill, left to right. If you've got any left or right-handed players on at the same time, you just adapt it to suit. So me being a left-hander, I will play my backhand from this side, and my partner if he's right-handed do forehand, so it'd just be backhand to forehand, backhand to forehand. And then when it comes to the other side of the table, I'd be on my forehand, and my partner would be on their backhand. We would just rally like that. Then what I would do after that, is to do some serving practice. Okay, so again, to serve short, uh, and then the partner would return the ball, so therefore you're showing the moderator different styles of serving, so you get to serve short, try and get them to serve different places, so to the left, to the middle, and perhaps to the right. Get them doing forehand and backhand serves, so just showing their variety of their different types of serve. Again, the moderator wants to see variety, wants to see spin, wants to see forehand and backhand, and they want to see placement in different places. Okay, so you're starting to hit those, those kind of like key areas for a moderator to see. The partner can return the ball. Okay, so we've got serve and we've got return the serve. They might return it with a push, they might return it with a flick. Again, the moderator wants to see the students getting in there with their returning of their serves. Then after I've done short serves, I would do long serves. So I want the students to do long serves and perhaps some of the more advanced serves for the students that are a little bit more advanced at the top of your level. So if you're looking for pace on the ball, edge of the table, long ball, again, corners down the middle, and generally, again, showing the moderator a variety of serves that your students can do. At this opportunity as well, I might bring in the pendulum serves, so if you've got some advanced students, you might be at the side of the table, doing the pendulum serves, trying to get it to go across the table. So that's an opportunity to get your advanced serves in for your students. The key thing is, they need to practice it in your lessons, so that they're used to the types of serves, short and long, different types of spin on the ball, and then they can move on. What I do after I've done my serving practice, we've got forehand to forehand, backhand to backhand, short serve, return serves, play the point out, long serve, return serves, play the point out, then I would look at what we call third ball attack. One person serves, person on the other side pushes it back with a nice simple return, probably a backhand push, something nice and, nice and simple, and then the player that we, we did the serve in the first place is going to come and try and attack it with either a forehand or a backhand only if it's there to attack. If the partner returns a ball that's a little bit short, they're not going to be able to attack it. Maybe a flick is okay. But we're looking for what we call the third ball attack, okay? So, short serve, push return, and then show an increase in pace on the ball and a desire and an emphasis on trying to win the point. Um, then what we would normally do to finish uh, our moderation, we'd do a little bit of top table challenge. We'd have winners moving up, uh, losers moving down, Play the first two 11 points. Again, the moderator can kind of see the game situation, we've recreated that competition, and the emphasis on the students then trying to put into practice their skills, showing their variety of serves within a match competition, playing to the rules of the game with two serves each, and that pretty much is our moderation at Clayton. Um, it's our moderators over the past one, we've been with LCR, now with NXL, have been more than complimentary about what we do with the table tennis uh, when we do the moderation. So there will be my top tips for you, uh, Tom, go. I'll pop it all down in note formats as well so that you can have a look at
uh, the different drills and how to set it up. Uh, but the drills that we do, we drill the students with them. So they do the drills, they practice and practice and practice for and forth, back and to back and short serves, long serves. They practice that over a number of sessions. So it's not just a case of they just do it on moderation and they've never seen these drills or they don't know what a third ball attack is. We spend a handful of lessons preparing them, getting them ready, making sure that they've got that accuracy there and that consistency. Then that helps us build a picture of where they're at and what, what kind of mark we can give them and, and, and kind of grades. That covers every aspect of table tennis. You've got serving, you've got serving return, you've got different types of serves, short and long, spin serves, advanced serves if they can. You've got this modern style of table tennis, this third ball attack, a nice uh, soft serve followed by an attacking uh, ground stroke. Um, so that's where we feel that we, we can kind of like, you know, help other schools to put a, a moderation together for the table tennis. I hope this has been some help to you folks and uh, hopefully you can utilise it for your own PGCC groups. Thank you very much guys, all the best.